Short throw projectors would normally set you back a hefty fee, but with companies coming out with more affordable options, it can be hard to choose the right one for you. This is the Gym Tab M22, and it is a native 1080p short throw projector coming onto the market for little over £200. So let's see exactly what you get and unbox this guy. So in the box, you really only get the basics to get you up and running. You get a very basic power adapter, a free HDMI cable, an old fashioned video adapter and sound splitter, and a very basic yet functional remote control. So let's take a look at the projector itself. So it is a very basic build here. The quality is okay. It's not up there with the high end projectors. So you certainly get what you pay for here. Nevertheless, it is very functional and a reasonable size. Slightly confusingly though, they have opted to have the power port on the left side of the projector and then all of the ports and media playback options on the right. However, in terms of ports, you do have everything you need to get up and running. You have a USB and a micro SD card slot that allows for instant media playback. A HDMI port, a V and auxiliary. No VGA on here, but let's be honest, that is a dying video choice. Just to let you know, on the back there is room and clear opportunities to add a bracket for ceiling mounting. Setup is dead simple with this projector, and the short throw ability is coming very handy. Here I'm projecting from 8 to 9 feet away from the screen, and I'm getting about 100 inches. This is almost half the distance I would have to put other projectors back at to achieve this, so I'm really impressed there. Obviously, this isn't an instant ultra short throw projector. You are still going to have to back up a little bit, but it's certainly a considerable difference compared to other projectors. At 100 inches, the screen quality is very nice. I do like that the focus style is on top of the projector unit. It doesn't take too long to get a perfect image. Now, in terms of keystoning, this is all done through the menu interface. And once again, it's really not too hard to achieve a good image. Some slight tweaks here and there, and you get the perfect outthrowed image. How this stands out from the crowd is that this has built-in Wi-Fi, 2.4G and 5G internet functionality. And this is when it's compared to your phone. So wherever you are, as long as you have a connection, you're able to wirelessly cast your iOS or Android device straight to the screen for a surprisingly fluid and enjoyable experience. You'll be able to cast exactly what your phone sees, and by doing this, it opens up an abundance of opportunities for you, like casting YouTube videos, Apple TV, photos from your album, and so much more. The opportunities are endless. Now, in terms of the onboard sound, it's okay, but as I state with many of these projectors, it really is worth indulging on the opportunities to plug in surround sound or a soundbar. Now, this can be done by the auxiliary port. There is no Bluetooth functionality on here, but auxiliary, it's very easy to operate. Needless to say, this is the onboard sound quality when it's turned up fairly loud. <laughs> The picture for me is surprisingly good. At a native resolution of 1080p, we're able to get a clear and bold image. The contrast is nice and the sharpness that is achieved is really up there with some of the more expensive projectors in this price point. This is not native 4K, but it does have the ability to upscale that. Here I'm shooting out a 4K image and as you can see, although it is being upscaled, the quality it's surprisingly really good. Whatever you intend on using this projector for, there are a handful of opportunities here. With that Wi-Fi ability, you aren't going to struggle to use this on a daily basis. Just being able to cast things to a big screen at your convenience is just fantastic. If you wanted to, you could use this to play video games. Here I'm playing an Xbox Series S shooting out at 1080p and the image, it's okay. We are only getting 30 frames per second though, so I wouldn't suggest using this for competitive gaming where FPS is very important. But for casual chilled out gaming, the image, well, it's certainly very good. With the built-in wireless casting to the short throw space saving technology, you really do have a package wrapped up in a very nice ribbon. At the current asking price, I really can't complain at the video quality and ease of use this offers to the average consumer. Check out this product in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. And as always, till next time.